everybody. It is Sunday afternoon, December 15th, 1.08 p.m. Don't get excited. I'm looking at the iPad. Uh, I spent the morning chatting with um, the art groups for 2020, the 2020 My Creative Year, and the 2020 design team for my product line. And I think we got things all set and ready to go. I need to film some video next week. But other than that, I think we're good. The husband is outside cleaning out one of our gutters, where, which is where all of the pine needles and stuff get swept down to. So I think it's gonna be a monthly thing that we need to clean that gutter out. The kids are out house hunting and Lily is here wandering around wondering why I won't give her any of my lunch. But you know, that's a thing. Anyway, a quiet Sunday, but that's okay. I'm good with it. All right, I'll be back. So I'm out, I'm gonna go pick up some trash around the neighborhood. I've been meaning to do that for a few days. I fed Bambi, um, took some broken lattice work down that we had attached to one of the fences. I've been meaning to do that since we moved in September of last year. Anyway, it's down and in the trash. Um, people are, uh, taking over my art room space for wrapping Christmas presents. So I gotta do something with myself. So anyway, I'll be back. Good morning. It is Monday morning, December 16th, I think. And it is 10.06 a.m. according to my car clock. I don't know if that's right or not, but that's what it says. I am in the McCann's parking lot. So I was dropping off an Etsy order and picking up a flat rate envelope. And I need I thought I was done with the Christmas shopping, but we need a couple of gift baskets for the parents. My parents, my husband's mom. So I think I'm going to head over to the little shopping center where Michael's is. There's a New Seasons Market. They may have a few things. And there's also a Home Goods over there. If I don't find anything there, then I think we're going to pick one evening this week and head over to Costco, which is a warehouse discount store for those of you who don't live in the U.S. or don't know what Costco is. So anyway, yeah, exciting, right? I know. I already did my social media posts for today, some scheduled ones for later in the week, and I wrote some other ones that I need to manually post um, over the next few days. Um, since I am scheduling out all my posts, I'm not doing them all at once. I want to work on some paper clips today and I need to um, this week work on filming some stuff for January and I need to edit the vlog. So um, that's all stuff that's on my plate this week and that I want to get done before Friday. So we will see how far I get with that. All right, I'll be back.
so I took apart the plastic insert from some Christmas lights because I wanted this which I took my husband's power sander to to sand down the plastic ridge here in the center I think it's gonna make an interesting mark making tool and something I can use on the jelly plate I also got this one out of that same thing and there were two of each of those so on the other one of them I cut it apart and those I think are going to just be interesting little bits and pieces to use like on paper clips and stuff so um, then as I was cleaning up I realized I also have these which I'll add to my basket of found and homemade mark making tools pretty cool I also was getting my journal ready for chronic pain for next year which is what this is I'll be posting over there in that group about that. So if you want to know what that's about and you want to know what I did in that journal and why we're doing it, you join the Facebook group. Um, and I'll put the link in the description below. Um, holy cow. Art journaling through chronic pain. I should know the name of this. Holy cow. Art play through chronic pain. Um, it's my friend Cindy Edders group and she and Peg Robinson and I and Carla McCants are all doing a series of projects next year of um, using um, chronic pain as a sort of therapy to get through uh, art chronic pain using art journaling as a sort of therapy to get through chronic pain situations physical mental that sort of thing so anyway no substitute for med professional medical help FYI, but this is just something in addition that we, we do. Anyway, if you're interested in following along or joining the group, I'll put a link in the description below. I think I'm going to go check the mail now. Take a break. I'll be back. Hey everybody, it's Tuesday, December 17th. I don't know what time it is. I know it's after one o'clock. That's all I know for sure. Um, I've got four videos filmed, edited, and uploaded to YouTube this morning. I got some corresponding posts in Facebook taken care of this morning and scheduled. Um, I'm working on scheduling more posts so I don't miss, miss things. Forget to share video, you know, that sort of thing. So anyway, I've got like four more videos to do for January, commitment videos. Um, but the most important ones that are due, like New Year's, are done now. So I can take a little bit of breather for the other ones. So Anyway, it is cold out here. I have a sweater on. I'm still cold. When I'm cold, that's a bad thing. It means it's really cold. All right. I'm going to head back inside and see what else I can do and get done. Well, we have a quiet day in the house before the holidays hit, right? All right. I'll be back.
we stepped out to get away from the children a little bit. No, honestly, we needed to go get some Christmas shopping done. And while we're out, we're get, taking the opportunity to walk around some shops and get some steps in. Right now I'm in Cabela's. And um, I don't hunt or fish or camp, let's be honest, but I like Cabela's. I've talked about this before. I love their organizational bags and things they have for the different sports. They're great for art supplies. They have the best candied cashews on the planet and it's the place where I buy my deer corn. So anyway, right now I'm standing in the candle aisle, which I shouldn't be in because I really want to cough. I'll be back.
Hey guys, what was I thinking just wearing short sleeves out here to check the mail? It's only 41 degrees out here, even for me it's cold. Holy cow. I spent the morning doing some social media stuff and working on a journal page, chatting with friends, working on laundry because the husband hasn't had an accident, going up the stairs with a full cup of coffee. Now I have a load of towels to wash. So yeah. That's a thing. All right, I'm gonna check the mail on me for a while here on YouTube. Then you know, every year at Christmas time, we send out a lot of Christmas cards, over 100. And in years past, I get teased by the family because I always end up sending them to dead people, people who have passed in the last year and I've forgotten and I forgot to take them off the list. In my defense, I'm thinking about them. Anyway. So uh, always also the ones that have moved that you forgot about or didn't know about. This year, no dead people, but I have at least one I need to get a new address for. I need to make sure I do that today. So anyway, I'll be back. everybody it is Thursday morning I think it's December 18th it's 9 46 a.m. according to the car clock anyway I am headed out this morning after way too much coffee to go try to get the first round of holiday food shopping done and check on the P.O. box before I spend the rest of the afternoon puttering up in the art room so, you know, hopefully making some paper clips anyway how's your day are you ready for Christmas uh, present wise we're ready I think food wise not so much so anyway I better get to it I'll be back good morning it is Friday morning December 20th it is a rainy Portland winter morning it, it's Oregon I don't know what to tell you um, I think I said yesterday it was the 18th it wasn't it was the 19th I mean, you know, I look it up, I still screw it up. I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, I would normally not be headed out in the rain this morning. Um, just because I don't like driving in the rain, fun fact. But when I was at the post office box the other day, I had a brief two-second thought, oh, I should grab some flat rate boxes on my way out because I think I'm out at home for the Etsy store. But nah, it's all right. It's Christmas, I'm not gonna, you know, my Etsy store doesn't usually do tons of business at Christmas. Well, I got orders last night. <laughs> I don't have any priority mailers. They all asked for priority mailing. So yeah, we're headed out to go get some boxes. <laughs> and bonus, my husband said, oh, can you mail one more Christmas card? So I guess it's a good thing I'm going out. So.
happy Saturday morning, everybody. It's Saturday morning, December 21st, 918 AM. Don't get excited. I've looked already. Um, if you're watching this clip, you saw a clip. I put, I took out the audio and put some Christmas music to it. Um, because we had, um, the radio playing in the background, um, of my parents <laughs> at my kitchen counter. They came over last night for a pre-holiday dinner, uh, before the kids uh, left to go to California to spend time with Polyus's family. And um, <laughs> I just couldn't help but film the two of them because my dad is um, almost completely deaf. He wears hearing aids. And even with them in, he's very hard of hearing. And he was trying to talk on the phone to somebody and that's how he needs to hold the phone to hear. And meanwhile, my mom is just... <laughs> she was just yeah so anyway it was pretty funny uh anyway we are off now we just dropped off some etsy orders and we're gonna put gas in the car and we're headed out to a christmas party thing with um sarah our realtor who sold us our house uh last year and she actually called to make sure that we were coming <laughs> which i i guess we kind of looked at each other and went, I guess we better go. No choice. No choice, choice, yeah. So we're going to go to do that. And I don't know what else we're going to do. Nothing. Um, we're not doing any chores. We're just going to enjoy the afternoon. We'll see where it leads. We'll be back. Hey guys, it's uh, about 1030 Saturday night. Something like that. I just got done doing my daily drawings. And... We went to the Christmas party and we had a lot of fun and it was great to see people and chat and meet new people. Not something we either of us do well. We're both introverts, fun fact. So, but we did it anyway and it was a lot of fun. Um, we didn't do much else to be honest. We dropped off some Etsy orders, put gas in the car and then just came home and puttered the rest of the afternoon. It was kind of quiet to have the house to ourselves for a bit and just chill and relax. Did some dishes, more cleaning up from uh, the family dinner last night, and that's it. Tomorrow we're going to go do some running around, do some shopping. You know, it's been a fun pre-Christmas week. Next week's going to be a little crazier, but it's all right. It's the holidays. It's to be expected. It's not going to calm down until probably after New Year's. It is what it is. I'll bring you with me when I can. Anyway, I hope you've all had a great week. Hope you're all ready for the holidays if you celebrate them and no matter which ones you do celebrate. I hope you have a great time enjoying your friends and family. <sighs> anyway, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. If you want to see what I'm up to on a regular basis and or follow um, what I do, my other content, other videos, I don't post them all here on YouTube anymore. Um, sometimes they're going to be out directly to Facebook. Sometimes they're over in my Patreon. There's links for all of that stuff down below along with my Etsy shop, my Happy Mail address, all that stuff. My email address, I think, is down there. Yeah. Anyway, you have a lot of ways to contact me, so do it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And above all, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. We'll see you later. Bye, guys.